guys, it's Rupert Joyce Movies, and today, I forgot to turn on my light. And also, I made my own video game, let's go, it's called Bender the Legacy Ender. It's pretty cool. Originally, this was going to be a top-down 2D game, then it was a 3D game, then it was a different kind of 3D game. I forgot what that one was. And then finally, it was like a 2.5D, like it's... 2D sprites, but they go like for, into the foreground and background and like scale. It'll make sense uh, when I show it to you. So, it was made on Scratch, which is a like operating system where kids can make games, like just simple 2D games, it's supposed to be, but like it's supposed to be like just like a simple, like two-dimensional, really choppy, uh, guess the numbers game, but people have managed to get, like, like, full, like, 3D platformers on this thing, like, racing games and, like, all that stuff, like, all, like, 3D and all that, uh, with, like, real polygons. Unfortunately, I can't do that, so I just had to settle with sprite scaling stuff. Uh, oh, and let me show you something. This game actually has a box. Let me show it to you. So basically here is the box I made for it. It's I'm not going to use a box because it's not going to be on a disc or a cartridge or anything, but I still fi found it fun to make a box. I actually gave the box this in an actual box without like a disc to Bender for his wedding and he found it pretty cool that I made my own video game. So obviously there it says Bender the Legacy Ender with the sword. PC DVD ROM software right there. This is actually the packaging for the Bender's Wedding Special Edition uh, with the little logo there. Uh, and then the knight here. That looks pretty cool. On the spine, uh, it says Bender the Legacy Ender with a different um, layout instead of being underneath, it's on the side. Uh, the little jewel that indicates, hey, this is a special edition over there. And then PC DVD ROM software. Even though it's not DVD or ROM, but I like having it that way. And then the back of the box says, stop the forces of evil from snatching your wife. In Bender the Legacy Ender, you play as Bender, who has, the part of the S is cut off there, has found a sword saying Legacy Ender. You must now use your Sword of Legacy. That's what I called the sword, is the Sword of Legacy. Uh, cause Legacy Ender, and it's a sword, it's a sword of Legacy, sounded cool. To defend your wife from being killed, or, uh, from being captured by killing all the evil servants working for the villain unknown. Um, this is a screenshot from the game here. Uh, this is actually the title screen right here. And it says, coming in first DLC pack. Um, that might not happen for quite a while. I don't intend on really updating this. Uh, but what's going to go on is it's going to say boss fights, cutscenes, and uh, a, a shield item. The Shield of Populace. Which I don't really think would really help you. Except like in like where in really, really uh, rare circumstances where enemies can like hit you with stuff. That can projectile. But I don't know. And obviously with the Bender's Wedding Special Edition... With the special combo pack, you would get a full game download, all the DLC for free with this pack, and then exclusive Bender the Legacy Ender poster. So this is like an insert here. It says no game disc necessary, and then a little disc with the X, and it says play online at www.scratchmit.edu projects, and then that long number. Um, it's actually still live if you guys want to play it. You guys can actually play that game right now. Uh, tell me how it plays. I will uh, leave a link in the description uh, so you guys can play that game. And then this is the Bender poster. It's uh, not actually my Bender poster. I didn't actually draw this. But I just found it on the internet. People weren't really using it for anything. It was like for some old movie, but uh, people aren't using it for anything. And so I thought, why not? What better use for this thing than as a Bender poster? Um... A little Bender thing. It says Bender. It's a robot. I'm actually going to add that robot as a uh, DLC character. A DLC uh, enemy that I'm going to add. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's about it for that. 
Uh, so yeah, now we um, uh, whoops, uh, now we can go and uh, actually play the game. I'm gonna do like a little mini review of it, and then I'm gonna tell you like a couple of like how to play, and I'm gonna do like a mini review of it, let you know how it plays. Uh, it's just kind of a little cool video here. Scratch. Zoom in here. Zoom in. Zoom in. Okay. This is Bender the Legacy Ender, and when you click this little flag button at the top that you can't see, the music starts up. So the music is just this for the whole game. I might add some more for the DLC, but that's not going to happen like for quite a while. Uh, the DLC pack. Um, Bender the Legacy Ender. Press spacebar or tap the screen. This was for when I was I was originally going to make this. Um, mobile available. So you can play it on mobile, but right now you can't play it on mobile. I may do that in the future, but again, it's just a big question mark. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that in the future. So this says Bender the Legacy Ender, press space bar or tap the screen. Press space bar, and then basically right now you have to say PC or mobile. I'm going to put down PC. And there we go, there's our PC controls. So basically what you have to do is you have to, um, you have to swing your sword at the, like, the guy with the sunglasses. Uh, and then you basically have to touch the girl without swinging your sword at her. But you have to swing your sword at the, uh, the dude right here. And then basically, as you can see, if I press down and up, that basically uh, moves you between the foreground and background layers, sort of. It uh, scales the sprite. And then left and right, move left and right on a 2D plane here. And then space is obviously to do your the swing the sword of legacy here. Let's get you. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, and by the way, if you swing your uh, sword at the girl, uh, it usually uh, negatives your points by one. They're usually pretty close together, because obviously... See, my score just got negative, but obviously they're always pretty close together because, of course, uh, he captured the girl. The girl got captured by Bender. Or no, uh, by, uh, by the guy with the sunglasses. So, um, uh, the, um, one thing you might not know is that, um, uh, this game has, um, uh, what was I going to say? It has, um, it's going to have a, uh, it actually has a, this background is like really cool. It has a, a really a, a good background. I may update the soundtrack. It was, it was, the one I have is fine. It's this way the whole game, but it's like more of a high score endurance round. So, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Ellie, can you go give this to my mom? Yeah. And so, obviously, this is live. You guys can play it right now. You guys can play it uh, forevermore, as long as it's live. Oh, uh, by the way, I actually made a sword swinging animation. It, like, cuts. Cut, 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 cut. Uh, I, yeah, I gotta, like, get near him. Swing it, cut it. There we go. Swing at him. See, my score just went down because I swung the girl. Uh, swing at the guy. It's hard to uh, get the guy but not the girl. And they're obviously... Oh, what, one thing that's pretty cool is that the movement of the guy is random. It, it, it's ra And the girl, they're, they're randomized. And the size, it's randomized. You, you never know. You never know how big or small they're gonna be. You 
never ever know. Um, so yeah, you, ne you never ever know how big you're gonna be. Uh, so yeah. Um, that was uh, my video game. Uh, I, like I said, it's rough around the edges, but um, I made it for Bender, a guy from my dad's work. So uh, it was dedicated to him. Also, my dad came up with the idea, um, but I did all the programming, all the, the music, all the sprites. So it was mostly me. Uh, and also... Um, the game is, like I said, a billion times you guys can play it. I'm going to leave a link in the description. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, uh, definitely smack the like button. Make sure to subscribe uh, so you don't miss a single Troys Movies upload. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!